once cotton is harvested, it is taken and put into modules. Modules are large rectangular blocks of cotton that are put on the sides of the field until they're taken by trucks to the cotton gin. Then after harvest, in compliance with the pink bollworm eradication program requirements, cotton stalks are generally chopped or mowed down to the soil level. The plants are typically undercut to sever the roots and kill the plants. And then the cotton field is typically disked or worked to incorporate the cotton stock residue into the soil. So again, all of these operations are part of the field preparation for the subsequent crop. And they're typically done in, in just a matter of days or very short time frame after the harvest is finished. This is an example again where GPS is probably being used in this field here. You can see the straight line this tractor has made a, even in doing something like disking. These are what are called the cotton modules that again will be taken to the cotton gin and the cotton will be cleaned, the seeds will be removed and the lint will then be put into bales. Each bale is roughly 500 pounds. Okay, so what's happening right here now? Right now we're fitting cotton into that uh, into the den. This is what is called a module feeder. A module feeder? Yeah. Okay, that's what that is there. Okay. So that's like a conveyor belt or it just rolls right in? It rolls. Okay. Degree, and I 
These are the cotton bales right in front of us on the trailers. In yellow, each one is about 500 pounds. And then over to the left there, you can see some of the cylindrical modules that are coming in as well. So it was pretty noisy in there, but it was pretty interesting to see the, the cleaning steps and all the machinery that's involved with this. 